Hello everyone, I am PK Gam and we'll be commentating this game of Yoshi's Island. This is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. A story that took place a long, long time ago. A stork hurries across the dusky, pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he carries a pair of brothers. Who could they be? Who knows? Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed. At least that's how I envision Kemak saying it. Whoa! Oh boy. Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Poor stork, poor baby, into the darkness from whence it came. That, yeah, it's going pretty quick, gotta say. And there goes the other baby! The second baby falls undetected. Toward the open sea. Well, that's not good. Oh no, is right! <laughs> Meanwhile, down on Yoshi's Island, home to all the Yoshis, Yoshi's just having a good time, it's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. Uh, oh, huh? Oh, suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls on his back. How's it going? Fortunately, the baby seems to be just fine. Yeah, rumor has it that Yoshis are very soft. <laughs> wow, something else fell along with the baby. What could it be? As the music slows, let's take a peek. <laughs> Opening the map, basically, sound effects. It looks like a map. Maybe the stork was using it? Maybe? Could be? Might be? Yeah, probably. Yoshi can't figure out this strange situation. Alas, alas. Maybe we will be able to later on. He decides to talk to his friends about it. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah! the evil magic Koopa who kidnapped the baby. Cannot be pleased about this. Quickly dispatches his gang of nasty toadies. To... To what? When he discovers that he missed the other baby! Well... That, that, that doesn't... That, well, I guess it sort of implies that. I was gonna say, it doesn't quite explain it yet, but... But, you'll see. Yoshi casually heads back to the other Yoshis. Do, 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 do. Completely unaware of the danger. Close at hand. Here they come for the baby! Kamek's forces are actively searching the island. Why do they want that baby? Who knows? Who knows? Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? Maybe, maybe not. Kind of hard to say because this game is incredibly difficult to 100%. <laughs> and I will be trying to 100% this bad boy because that's something that I did not do in my initial walkthrough of this game, because I was kind of intimidated at 100%ing this game, but... Well, uh, I should say 100%ing it on camera, but well, I'm doing it, and it's gonna be epic. I got a new save file here set up. Yeah, I played this game a bunch of times before. <laughs> so with that, hello everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Yoshi's Island, the Game Boy Advance version of it. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over a baby that fell from the sky. Yeah, baby. That baby. Babies are always causing issues, I swear. Just, I remember that Goron baby. Ugh. Ugh. Wait. It seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tells each of them where the other one is. Like... Transceivers of sorts. The Yoshi decide to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and the Baby Mario! Yay! We're off! We're off! 
we're babysitting, basically. Yay! <laughs> Even the flowers are happy for us. Yes. Yes. Alright, welcome to Yoshi's Island. This is the tutorial level. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamek's toadies will swoop in and kidnap Baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you'll be. Once Baby Mario is safe, the timer will count back up to ten. But at max. We want to get it up to 30 at the end of stages, though. Completing a, complete a stage by passing Baby Mario to the next helpful Yoshi. So it's like this. <laughs> Grab Baby Mario, jump and use your tongue to snare him or even throw it to him. If the timer drops to zero, Kim X Goons will nab him. So yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just watch the timer go down here for a second. Just just such so as you can see here what'll happen if it gets down to uh, catastrophic levels. Yeah. <laughs> When it reaches zero, you gotta definitely get that baby quickly. Oh, and I just showed a move that I wasn't supposed to show yet in terms of the game's tutorial, and I was also supposed to use this <laughs> to get those coins, but I'm just showing you all sorts of alternate ways here, aren't I? Well, I'll get into the egg move as we go, but yeah, basically for now, just hold the button to do this flutter jump as well as jumping, you know, the A button here, B button to tongue it, and the D-pad to move. Got it? Good. If Flutter Drop by holding down A, you can hover in the air with a short time. Make the extra effort. Ah, oh, I, I didn't make the extra effort, so then here's the punishment area. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for realsies now. Whee! There's these bouncy thingies here, which you've got to figure out before you can move on ahead. Jumping off them when when they're stationary like this won't really give you the boost that you need. You got to squish them down to be able to get the boost that you need. See that? So you gotta put some gotta put some force on them. Just like this. Yeah. Yeah. And you can also kill enemies by stomping on them. Well most enemies. Alright, world one! Baby is crying over at the castle over at World 6, but we can't get there anywhere anytime soon, so let's just play 1-1. And I plan on doing one level of video. Because uh, between the difficulty and the exploration of some of these, it's gonna be it's gonna be long just for one level. Because these levels are actually pretty extensive. This is what I showed earlier that I did a little early by instinct. But yeah, you basically grab an enemy with your tongue, press down to turn it into an egg. Yes. Now try throwing the egg. Press the R button. Oh man, look at that! I don't use the um. Uh, well, I was gonna say I don't use the hasty style of uh, throwing. I use the patient style. I know that's uncommon for people to do that, but it's how I like to play it because it kind of leaves my hand nice and free and untensed on the R button and whatnot. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's just how I've always played it and how it's how, it's how I'm most comfortable, and I've always had the most success with it. Special flower, gather five for what up? They add to your point total. What point total could that be? Well, oh wait. Actually, it's, um, yeah, the select button. Yeah, see this? We gotta get, uh, 30 stars, which is our baby save, safe meter, 20 red coins, which are intermingled with regular coins, and, well, it doesn't really show on the flowers, but each, <laughs> you gotta get five flowers, and each one is worth 10 points. Got it? Good. Alright, so let's move on here, and, oh, what, what is, what, what, what is this craziness? Did, did you see that platform up there? What? How do you get? How do you get to that platform? That just no, no one, no one could get to that platform. It's it's impossible. Well, first let's kill this guy and just see if there's anything hidden. See, there's there's, there's points that you can actually uh, touch and then stuff will appear out of nowhere. Uh, but anyway, see these things right here? A little tutorial on them. Throwing eggs. Press R once, steamer cursor will begin the move. Press R again to throw the egg. When you find question mark, hit it with an egg. Cool stuff will happen. To cancel the throw, press down on the control pad. That's very handy to know, by the way, so that you can save your eggs. And you can only hold up to a maximum of six eggs at a time. And look at that, now we can get up here thanks to the power of the question mark. And we also got up five coins and a flower. Heck yeah, baby! And, uh, I'll, you know, you, so the idea basically for solving puzzles, at least in the early stuff, is to get eggs and throw eggs. Yeah, that's the. That, that was the tutorial of this first level, basically. <laughs> Here's a secret area. 
A chomp rock is a useful thing! Push it to make it roll. Bowling over your enemies. If it gets stuck, stand on one edge to make it roll again! And to get the, yeah, the red coins from those shy guys, you're gonna wanna lick them up. You can also just steal the coin from underneath- oh, I guess you can't in this game, but I was gonna say, you can steal the coin from underneath them by, uh, lapping it up thusly, but no, I, I guess it's not in this game, it's only in the later games that you can steal it and they'll fly away, and yeah, those balloons, they contain multiple coins sometimes, and they scatter everywhere, it's good times, and one-ups are, well, one-ups, <laughs> extra lives, pretty self-explanatory. Now, these flowers here, though, unless they're there's a little box teaching you about them. They're, they are not all that self-explanatory. Um, what you gotta do is you gotta throw something in them. And uh, if I were to sort of like set up my cursor, you can stop the cursor by pressing the L button. You can bounce it off the ceiling if you hit it at the right angle, and stars will pop off. Yay! Yay! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Okay, I got them all. There's only there's always ever eight coming out of the flowers of those stars, and we need to get 30 of those in total. So uh, try not to take hits because uh, that that star total there is a part of your baby safe meter of sorts. So yeah, you don't really want to do that <laughs> if you can help it. Although, as I said, with the high difficulty of this game and trying to 100% it, good luck with not taking hits. <laughs> but there are ways around that via items, and I'll, I'll show you that when we get into actually getting some items. Maybe I'll be able to get into a bonus level this part's Maybe, maybe. It'll be 50-50. We'll, you'll see what I mean when I get into it. Uh, ooh, stars, stars, stars everywhere! Yes! And some of these pipes you can go down into uh, if there's Shy Guys popping out of them. And you can, you can fill up on your Shy Guys a little bit faster, a little bit... Yeah, I guess it, they like come out two at a time. This is also a neat way to fill up on your stars if you do those deflection shots like that because uh, you'll notice that every time an egg bounces off the wall, it changes color. See, it went from yellow to red. Well, yellow gives you coins, two coins to be exact, and red gives you two stars. So, yeah, if you can use this to refill your stars if you're good at uh, c catching your deflection shots. Like, watch this. One, two, and then tap it with your tongue. And then you'll be able to recollect that egg and then throw it at something to break it open. And then you'll be able to, yeah, you can do that in pr pretty much in- Oh, jeez, pretty much infinitely, as long as you do the angle correctly. <laughs> As you can tell, I didn't didn't quite do it correctly, but that, that's that's a good idea in these places to practice that so that you can recover your stars as many times as you please, as well as just to, you know, just practice your egg throwing as well, and egg catching so you don't waste your eggs and whatnot. Anyway, going back outside this pipe here. By the way, I just pressed down to go inside a pipe. That's pretty, pretty standard Mario stuff, so I'm, I don't know if I really had to explain that or not. <laughs> Alright, so we're moving on. Oh, Crazy Daisy! Crazy Daisies are definitely crazy. Some of them shoot shoot uh, bubbles out of them, which push you back, and you can actually get air out of them. But these just kind of move around the ground. Let's do it. I was gonna say, let's do a fancy bounce off the wall. Oh, 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 yeah! We made ourselves some platforms. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! It's incredible. Um, if you just want to go up these quickly, just stand in the center. And, oh, I'm not perfectly in the center. There we go, and just kind of jump straight up. Yeah, all right, let's keep looking around for hidden stuff by touching things. It will be magical. Like, this is a hidden thing. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but it's a it's a flashing question mark thing. Well, it's not showing as flashing on the camera, I can see, but I assure you, it's flashing. <laughs> it has to do with the frame rates not matching up with the recording and, and whatnot. It's, it's a tricky thing to sync up. <laughs> Uh, anyway, as long as you can see it, that is good enough for me, and I got all the red coins. Did you hear that tone? Did you hear that tone? Yep, I got them all. When it turns yellow, it just is an indicator that you got everything. But I'm, I'm still gonna be careful not to take any hits here. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. They each add one point to your total points. So we're going for a hundred on each of the stages. It's gonna be one heck of a ride, I tell you. <laughs> Like, even the, the slightest of Shy Guy enemies like this are acrobatic guys. They are potentially dangerous to our score if we should, if we should have, make the slightest mistake. 
and take damage from them. And anyway, oh yeah, 100 coins, like regular coins, yields a 1-up, but whatever. <laughs> We're never ever gonna see the game over screen. I, I, I swear. Um, now these... These ending rings here, if you get them to stop on one of the flowers, you'll end up at a bonus stage. So in this case, since half the ones are flowers, because we collected all the flowers, it's 50-50. Ah, I didn't get one. See, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if I was going to get a bonus stage or not, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll be able to show all the bonus stages in one way or another in the future. But anyway, 100 points, that is a perfect score. Oh yeah, Dancing Tacks! Our first 100, and it is awesome! And with that, it gets passed over to the next Yoshi. Remember the relay system? Our next Yoshi is pink, and 1-2 is next, which I'm going to be doing in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then!